Hello and welcome everybody to this, the June 1st, 2008 edition of MassapequaNews.com. We are here at Massapequa's own beautiful Clestedek Park shooting on location, and I am here with your president of the Massapequa Chamber of Commerce, Joe Bazile. Mr. Bazile, thanks a lot for coming on today. Thank you all. Uh, nice to be here with you. Thank you. Now today, we're going to talk a little bit about Memorial Day, the Walk of Honor and the Walk of Fame that you guys are going to be putting out here, the beautification project. We'll get a little end to that in due time. However, first, tell me what it means to be the president of the Chamber of Commerce here in Massapequa. What does that job entail? Well, Will, I'll tell you, the job basically, sometimes it's simple, sometimes it's very challenging, but basically my job is to, uh, you know, kind of have a lasting relationship between the residents of Massapequa, the town of Oyster Bay, uh, as a whole and work closely with all of these people to make Massapequa a better community to live in. So basically keep it a tight-knit community. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so what are some of the events that are sponsored by the Massapequa Chamber of Commerce? You know a lot of Massapequans are excited about the upcoming event at Marjorie Post. Well, yeah, that's true. Mass, uh, the Chamber of Commerce uh, sponsors a lot of events here, uh, as most of our residents already know. Uh, some of the events, uh, you know, we have so many, I had to write them down, yeah. otherwise I wouldn't remember them all. But the events that we, we sponsor in cooperation with the town of Oyster Bay uh, and John Vendetto, with, without them, we couldn't accomplish nothing, okay? So I want that understood right away. But, uh, and also we work with other organizations like the Sons of Italy, the Knights of Columbus, and naturally all of our veteran organizations. And uh, we hold a general meeting every month in different member restaurants. Uh, at the same time, enjoying you know a nice lunch, we get to network with everybody. Massapequanews.com is always there with us, uh, you know. But uh, some of the things like we have college scholarships every year that we uh, we sponsor, breast cancer screenings, uh, business expos, which we have one coming up uh, very soon, uh, community festival. Every year, for the last 20 years, we've had the community festival. Uh, it's, it's gotten bigger and bigger and better and better every single year. Uh, everyone knows about that. We have all these shows. We have one coming up in September, I believe it is, uh, in the Massapequa High School. We have Picnic in the Park coming up at the end of this month, uh, June 29th. Uh, the uh, holiday and uh, tree menorah lighting, Boy Scouts, Girl Scout Awards, very important food and toy drives that we do every year to support our local charitable organizations, churches, synagogues, uh, very, uh, you know, the outreach program is very important uh, with these organizations and many other events. Uh, the list goes on and on. Absolutely. A lot of religious as well as secular events that you just touched on there. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So, I mean, you touched on it a little bit. I mean, that's a very socially responsible thing to have the Memorial Day event here so people don't have to, you know, uh, go all over Long Island to vacation. You know, don't have to use up all that's that incredibly right. expensive gas. They oh, come yeah. right here to honor the veterans. And, you know, speaking upon that, right here at Clustonek Park, you guys will be paving with bricks, and you guys are going to be calling it the Walk of Fame and the Walk of Honor. Now, what does that mean? And I heard about honoring the veterans a little bit. Right. Well, you know, the chamber about two years ago came upon the idea uh, you know, we've noticed in other towns, uh, the other towns have gazebos and walkways with, with various bricks and monuments and things like that. So about two years ago, we realized that and we said that Massapequa didn't have a gazebo anywhere like a lot of the other towns do. So we decided to work together with the Honorable Senator uh, Charles Fischillo and the town of Oyster Bay, John, uh, Supervisor John Vendetto, as part of our beautification program of Massapequa and at the same time to honor our veterans, hence the Walk of Honor. The gazebo is located, this, right now we are on location, as you said before, it's located in Clessonet Park on Broadway, directly across from James Funeral Home. The park's going to be undergoing a complete makeover, which is going to be including uh, uh, all new shrubbery, we're going to have saw, all new sod put in, underground sprinkler system, a fence, the patio in front of the gazebo, and the walkways itself. 
you know, it's all the bricks are on sale now, okay? And the MassivePaperNews.com shopping page. That's right. And also the MassiveLiquidChamber.com website can also, or you can just simply call our office. Call the office. Go to MassivePaperNews.com shopping page. There'll be a direct link to them right there. Right. It's, you know, people have said, and you probably heard many a times, you know, in conversation, I'd like to leave a mark in this world. Well, this is a simple way of leaving a mark for our future generations, our children, to remember who we were and what we stood for. Absolutely. You have to leave a lasting mark on the community for generations to come. You can honor a member of your family. As you said, you can honor maybe a veteran who deserves to be honored in that fashion. I touched on it a little bit in my June column. If you love yourself that much, you feel like you need to be honored in such a way, throw your own name on there. It's your donation. Do whatever you want. That's right. That's right. And it'll be there forever. For as long, long after we're gone, uh, it'll be there for everyone to remember who we were. So we got a lot. We got a lot done today. We got a lot accomplished talking about the events of Marjorie Post, Memorial Day stuff, the beautification project, the Walk of Honor, the Walk of Fame that will be engraved here. And once again, if you'd like to purchase a brick on the Walk of Honor, you can go to MassPeopleNews.com shopping page. And I want to talk about the pricing a little bit of the bricks. Sure. The uh, we have two size bricks. Uh, one size is the your standard four by eight, which allows three lines of 18 characters each. The eight by eight brick, which is double the size of the four by eight, allows six lines at uh, 18 characters each. The four by eight brick, we are selling it for a hundred dollars, and the eight by eight is selling for a hundred and fifty dollars. Now, keep in mind, uh, you know. Space is limited, right. so if you want to be, you know, there and have your name, uh, whatever you would like to say on the brick, uh, please uh, don't hesitate. Get there right away before they're all gone. Right. Get to MassPeakerNews.com. Get to the Chamber of Commerce page and fill out those applications as soon as possible because they're going to fly off the shelf like hotcakes and hotcakes. I'm Already sure. off after this. Already okay. off. So, I mean, and you know, I mean, if you ask me, only 100 or 150 bucks to engrave your name in immortality forever. That's a pretty sweet deal, if you ask me. Yes, absolutely. And uh, just, you know, again, it's it's a lot of work to be accomplished here. We're hoping uh, to get most of it done by the fall, okay? And uh, once everything is in place, all the new shrubs and the, the underground sprinklers and everything, and all the new sod, then we can start laying the, the walkways and the patio in. So we're hoping for that, but you know, Mother Nature sometimes just doesn't right. want to doesn't cooperate, cooperate, and it kind of extends things out. But uh, you can, you know, rest assured, one thing is going to happen: we will have the Walk of Honor here. Uh, in the very near future. We're, we're working on it. Now, a lot of exciting things taking place in Massapequa over the course of the near future. Looking forward to this at Custanet Park. The beautification project in general is going to be beautiful. And once again, if you want to purchase these bricks, MassapequaNews.com shopping page is the place to be. This has been the June 1st, 2008 edition of MassapequaNews.com. I'd like to thank my special guest, President of the Massapequa Chamber of Commerce, Joe Bazil, Mr. Bazil. Thanks a lot for coming on today. Thank you very much, Will. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you. This is MassPeakerNews.com.